Hi, I'm Kieran Bono from MeCAD Systems and today I'm going to take you through how to import CAD files into Visualize. From here, I'm going to set File Open. I'm then going to select my model that I'd like to import. During the importing process, SolidWorks will give me my import settings pop-up menu. In this menu, I will, I will then assign different grouping styles and from there, I'll take you through the following. So let's look at the different type of grouping styles. Automatic grouping um, will allow SOLIDWORKS Visualize to automatically choose the best combination of layers and appearance, appearance layers, layers and appearance during the import process. This one is the most efficient to use and it will allow for the fastest import time. Flatten, this option will import everything into a single group this option is often used when troubleshooting. From here, we can look at group and appearance. It says that this option is often used with Autodesk files. It retains the group hierarchy within the file, subdividing or subgrouping items based on appearance and colors. So it gives first preference to the, the hierarchy, which is the group, and then from there subdivides it according to appearance. For layers, this is when layers have been assigned in the CAD file, it will then group it according to layers. Next, we have um, layer and appearance. So the same as grouping and appearance, it will first import it or first try and group it according to layers. And then from there, it will subgroup it or subdivide it according to appearance. Finally, or the second third last one is appearance. It will group it according to appearance. So everything in the same appearance will be grouped together. Appearance layer, the same as group appearance and layer appearance. Appearance layer will first group it according to the appearance and then after that subdivide it according to layers. And then finally, we have retained structure. This will allow you to import your design tree as is within your root file for Visualize. Another option, is is your monitor file. So monitor file will allow your model to update the moment there are changes that have been made to the CAD file in SOLIDWORKS for this example. It allows the model, it allows for proactive and um, for collaborative efforts on projects. So it allows the visualize user to constantly create, part, uh, create uh, renders while the designers are still adding changes and making changes to the assembly. Snap to floor will automatically place the lowest point of the um, model onto the floor environment. And then finally, instancing. Insisting is the option, uh, is, is the option that enables a more efficient method for loading and displaying identical bodies. Once active, all identical bodies will have the same texture mapping. This is just to save on hardware requirements. So for our example, we are going to select instance. Secondly, we are going to look at appearances. What appearances will do is it will pull through all the appearances that were assigned to the model in the CAD environment. Under animation, animation, if you've created motion studies, you can import these into SOLIDWORKS. In this example, we do not have an animation. For the camera option, it will import the last active camera that was saved within the SOLIDWORKS file and you can directly import that camera into your Visualize project. Scenes and decals are the same and in our project we don't have any. We will be applying a scene and decal at a later stage. From here what we can do is click open. We have already pre-selected all our requirements and pre-selected our grouping type. So from here if we select OK you will then notice there is a progress bar at the top and the model is successfully imported. Thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned.